All right, let me figure out how to make these comments. Good, good, good. Okay, so um, uh, I don't have anyone watching right now, but that's okay. Because like I always do um, in the middle of the day, I know a lot of people are busy. So um, I do want to make a video on how to blend two colors two lip colors um, to make one. So I'm using my tattoo ring. Oh, have a few people on. Hi, watchers. Excuse my hair. I tried to do, I don't know why I tried to do this, but I tried to do a peacock look because it's raining outside. So my hair wouldn't get all crazy and um well one i don't have a comb <laughs> and two don't don't try anything new because it just gave me a headache so um oh shoot i forgot something um what i forgot was a little applicator do, 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 do. Hmm. anyways okay so let me please say that before I was blending two colors as a, um, where are, where are they? Okay, I don't know where it is. I was blending two colors as a, on my blending palette. And this is my great blending palette here. Hi, um, so I see I have a few people watching. If one of you guys don't mind, can you please comment so I can make sure that my comments are working? Yes, maybe. <laughs> but anyways, um, so this is my blending palette. And I wanted to show you that there are more than one way to mix your colors or layer them. You can use the blending palette, which is basically a thicker wax paper. And um, Senegen sells this, and I can add it to your order if you'd like for five bucks. Super, super, super deal. Or these little tattoo rings, and these come through Amazon. Ooh, two day shipping. It's great. And so um, you want to make sure that uh, if you don't have Amazon, get it. I don't know where my other applicator is. So I'm going to use this one. Um, okay. So the important thing about blending your colors is that you shake them up properly. And, and that is because they have so many great, great ingredients in them that need to be mixed up in order to be put on properly and to easily um, make sure the the color will stay on longer so I'm going to shake them up both and, um, and another important thing about keeping your lip color on is to make sure you wipe off whatever you had on earlier I like to wear my lip balm throughout the day if I'm not wearing lip color because it keeps my lips from being chapped and you know how obsessed I was with chapstick, so I just can't get around from not wearing it. So you want to make sure your lips are clean and dry. I have this paper towel here, and I'm going to wipe it off. Um, nice and dry. And what you really want dry is the edges. Because I feel like when I do my lip colors, it is always really, really uh, sticky right here. So not only that, but you want to make sure you um, you do... Oh, hey! I see someone commented. Hey, Tia! <laughs> and you do your waterline. Hey, Shay! Thank you for watching. I can send you some rings too. Okay, I see the comments. So now that I'm nice and dry, I have that great clean palette to start my lips off. I'm going to start off with my first color. And I like to, um, when, you, when you layer, you wanna do 
like an even coat and you make sure you do them against the line well because if you are layering you'll see the other color but when you do the blending you want to do an equal portion at first because these colors one is um, darker pink than the other purple rain on me because my lip color is not like a pink it's more like a brown hey misty um so i have when my colors come on they're really dark or they're more pink or sometimes even brown which is really weird but it really your lip color will really um be different on you based on your undertone so okay I'm gonna bring this really close and I'm gonna show you how this works so you want to swipe your lip color into your ring and as you can see it's the focus is really bad but the color is getting in there so I did two of that in there and um I am going to do my Bella. That one's a, a thick. This one's almost gone because it's my tester. So I'm going to do it. You can tell this one is almost empty. It's my, my favorite color to share because, or to test, a lot of people love this color. So it looks like I got a good mix here. Um, so, I don't know where my applicators are. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, it's a great color, right? These two. So, I'm going to use the edge of, uh, if you don't have applicators, um, I would use just something like, like a toothpick or something, because you don't want to mess up your actual, your actual lip color lip applicator from your own tester so all right so I'm gonna use that and as you can see from the two that we have one is more purple one is more like brown pink so it's really much darker all right so here I go I'm going to do this and all right, so I'm going to do, I'm going to get really close. Hey, mom, I'm going to go really close. And the same, the same rule applies. You do light layers. And the reason why light, light layers is because if you put way too much on your lips, let me tell you, it will come off much faster. And your lip color will not last the four to mine has lasted since last December and that's what 11 months so you want your lip color to last unless you're using it every day which is fine misty <laughs> um but you want your lip color to last so here I go I got my blending colors in here and I'm going to do my line So you want to go into one sweeping motion and the reason being with that is if you go over the ring, um, they come in a package of 100. I, I think you could reuse it. It would be easy just to wash it out and um, uh, yeah, I would say it's reusable. Then again, I haven't washed it. So look and it's still wet when you do this on a wax paper the color dries so quickly and I, for me I feel like I've wasted so much so there I go now I'm gonna because I have no remember this cupid bow here I don't have one so instead of me having a big circle of lips I want to oh this is really hard I'm not even using a mirror I'm using a camera all right, and then, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh -huh. so this area for me, oh, sorry guys, this area for me always gets really uh, less of the color because I'm doing more of the applicator on each side. 
Oh, so I want to get that area again. I don't want to make sure it's dry. And a lot of heat will rush, okay? And you don't want to rush when you're hooding on your lip color. And you don't want to, you do not want to wipe or apply until the color is dry. And I repeat this because when you do that, the lip color will swipe off like a dry erase marker. If you were to take your marker and write on one spot and then write right over, what happens? Go back to school, y'all. It comes right off. So just like I'm schooling you guys, don't do it. So make sure it's dry and you'll know that it's dry when you touch it and it's not sticking to you. And of course it'll be a little sticky, which is which is completely normal. Um, and this happens because it's a liquid lipstick, liquid lip color. So I'm going to do the top layer. This is my second layer. The sound of the rain is so beautiful. I love it. I wish you guys could talk to me. All right. Okay, I totally missed that slot there. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna go this way. Aha. All right, that helped. So what do you think of my lip color so far? Okay, look. Look, look, look. So, because I talk so much. Thanks, Tia. Uh, girl, you should try it. I know this color looked great on you. So, because I took so long to apply, I'm going to add some more color on here. And this is a little scary because um, because now I want to make sure I blend the exact amount. So, I'm going to do two swipes like so. And then... My purple rain. Two swipes like so. I'm gonna add some more in there. You see how it's coming in? Really cool, right? Oh, this is kind of hard. All right, so there you go. It's blending, and now I'm going to mix. I don't need too much because I have like one and a half already on me. I know, Miss D. Thank you. I'm looking in the camera because I can see myself. So I'm mixing it up. And okay, so when you look at tattoo rings online, they have some that are circular like this. And then they have some that is like a cone. I've used both. And of course, I thought I'd get a bigger bang with my buck. And I got 200 of these for like $8. Now, I prefer the cone ones because when it cones in, the color goes into the middle instead of it being flat like this, which for me, I feel like the color will dry up much faster. So um, I recommend you guys spending a little bit more and getting the cone ones. Um, uh, but if you don't want to get them right now, let me know and I can send you some of the flat ones. So... Okay, so that, I think, did I do this side? Yeah, I think I did. Okay, so I'm going to do the bottom. This is my last layer, right? Okay. Which side did I start on? <laughs> I'm going to start on this side. Okay, there I go. And now I do the top. Uh-huh. Dirty. Dirty, dirty. This almost looks like plum. Hey, Stina! Okay, that one is a thick layer. Okay, so I had some extra in here, and now what I'm gonna do is gonna do the inner waterline, because for me, that's where the color always goes, and like I like you guys probably know, I have a bad habit of eating my lips. Hey! hey. Okay, so. Uh, 
I like to do this crease here because I don't want it just like empty. So I'm gonna make sure my color's all in there. And if some of you guys like, oh, it's all stuck. <laughs> if some of you guys like lip liner, I would like to show you how to easily line your lips with lip color. So you just take your applicator, you turn it around like so, and you carefully line your lip. Very simple, do the other side. Carefully line your lip. Now do the bottom. I cheated y'all on starting to use my mirror that's right next to, um, oh, right, right next to the phone. All right, so here's my lip color. And how long are we supposed to let it dry? Is anyone on there going to tell me? Dun, 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 dun. I give, I say five to 10 seconds. That's how long I let my lip color dry before I do my next application. And I've been talking, 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 talking. So I've been giving you guys plenty of time for it to dry. All right. So it's still a little sticky and that could be two things. One, because I mixed a whole bunch of colors together. And two, because, excuse me. I put thick layers on. And I try my best not to do thick, but I got a little distracted talking, so sometimes that happens. And if it does, you'll know you didn't wait long enough because your applicator stick will be colored. So that's why they make the Glossy Gloss, this fantastic, super moisturizing, hydrating, amazing to your lips Glossy Gloss with a white applicator so you'll know if it's been transferred on to your lip color because you didn't wait long enough or you put too much color on. You don't want to do that. So I am teaching you to make sure you don't. Okay, so here I go. I'm going to use my lip gloss and I'm going to, oh, I need some more. I swear, every time I do a video, my lip gloss is almost gone. Okay, so the lip gloss, no rules. Throw it on your face, put it all over. I sure eyes those lips. Look guys, it's white and still white. All right, get, get those edges and make sure. Okay, so here I go. Oh, I'm scared. Cause, mm. Mm. it feels so good to have my lip gloss moisturizing my lips so there you go there is your blended color well mine which is that's right miss d five seconds and so your purple rain and bella mm, makes like a plum such a beautiful color mm, let's see is it kiss proof is it? Is it? It is. Oh, I'm just dropping everything. Mmm, my test. There you go. There you go. That's what you want to see, right? It's going to come off? No, it's not. Because that's the great thing about the lip color. Hey, Ashley. So... That's how you blend using your tattoo ring found on Amazon and also um, with me if you'd like to get some and your two lip colors. And even if you like one lip color more than the other, then I would suggest using more of your one color and a little portion of your other one. Like if you're doing a red and a purple, you want more of that red, that deeper red color, definitely use more red because, hello, oh, the spirit of Christmas is coming very soon. So a lot of that red will be popular. Um, and the removal should be exactly the same. I've blended a few times. Use your oops remover to take off and it'll be good. Hmm. 
make sure you reapply your gloss because if you want that color to stay, hydrate and moisturize your lips. That's the best way your lip color stays and that's before and after you eat. And if you have a matte color, which Bella is matte, which means that it will look like it's, it's just a, how do I say this? It's just a, um, base. Like it's just such, not a shimmer or a frosty color. It's just really kind of like a dull, not that I want to say it's a dull color, but it's like a dull. Hey, Allison, we got to talk, hon. Um, hi, Zena. Miss you. <laughs> Miss your food too. Anyways, so um, you this color should be like a dull color. Yes, a flat. Thank you. I was looking at my matte wall and I was like, mm, how do I explain this? Thank you, Tia. A flat color. So this color and I will share a picture in the comments later throughout the day uh, about or how long and what it looks like so you can see what the difference is throughout the day with the blended color. And hey, so um, I want to thank you guys. Uh, you're probably wondering why I'm so dressy, but oh, thank you. Uh, it's it's um purple rain and Bella. Such gorgeous two colors. And so I'm heading to a event in Atlanta. So post it. Pictures will be up. And I want to thank you guys for taking the time out to watch me. Um, if you have any questions, please PM me or comment. I will get back to you as soon as I can. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. So I'll see you next time. Um, oh, hold on. Before I leave, what else do you guys want to see? Because my next video will be my first experience with lip scents, applying the color. I'm going to reenact the whole thing. And it's actually really funny. And um, why you get that tingling sensation. sensation. And if you want any other videos, let me know. All right. Bye. Mwah. Mwah. More kisses. More kisses. See y'all.